Do you have a frayed, broken, or damaged extension cord? Don't throw it away. In this video, I'll show you how to turn this useless tangle of cords into this, making it useful once again. The extension cord I'm repairing in this video is from a pair of heavy-duty, outdoor-rated, 100-foot extension cords. I no longer have much use for such long extension cords, and extension cords are expensive, so in addition to making the repairs, I'll also be making them into several shorter, more useful extension cords. But first, I have to untangle them. When repairing extension cords, I prefer to use this style of replacement plug, the kind that hinge open. I find making the connections much, much easier than other types of replacement plugs. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check out this style of replacement plug. After stripping back a section of the outer jacketing on the extension cord, you'll want to then strip back about 3 eighths of an inch or so of the insulation on the individual strands of wire. The length of outer jacketing and insulation on the individual strands of wire you'll need to strip back may vary depending on the replacement plug you're using. The goal is to have enough exposed copper wire to make a solid connection at the terminals, but not too much leaving bare copper wire exposed that could cause an electrical short, so adjust accordingly. Next, tightly twist the exposed copper wire on each strand of wire. This will help to insert the wire into the terminal in the plug. Once those are tightly wound, begin inserting the individual strands of wire into the terminals. The black hot wire goes to the gold terminal. The white neutral wire goes to the silver terminal. And finally, the green ground wire, yeah, you guessed it, goes to the green ground terminal. Now go ahead and snug down the terminal screws as you go. Now, I like to wrap the end of the cord with a little electrical tape. It's not completely necessary, but it does offer a little extra support and stability for the individual strands of wire. If you have large enough heat shrink, that's even better to use here. Finally, make sure the terminal screws are tight. Just tight enough is perfect. And then close it up. Tighten up the screws on the case and that's it, we're done. Repeat on the other end of the extension cord or with as many extension cords as necessary. 